So it just dawned on me after this last flight that my flying is totally different. I mean, I'm flying in conditions where I never would have dreamed of flying before, and not saying that they're dangerous or anything like that, but I'm growing more confident as a pilot. And the biggest thing is I got my instrument ticket, which is just I can't tell you what this does to your confidence level. So I decided just to put a whole flight up here and let you look at it because if you are learning how to fly, this is where you're gonna end up and this is where you wanna end up. And I wanted you to see it, just a full, from start to finish, IFR flight from St. Petersburg to Wachula in Florida. So subscribe, leave your comments down below, let me know what you think and enjoy. St. Petersburg Tower, Cardinal 22, St. Petersburg Ground, rather, sorry, uh, 2214 Yankee, uh, ready to uh, pick up our IFR clearance to Charlie Hotel, November, and we're at the FBL. Cardinal 2214 Yankee, we're ground, go to the Charlie Hotel, November Airport after departure. Turn right, heading 160, and then it's filed. A correction, turn right, heading 160, and then expect radar vectors to destination. Maintain 1,600, expect 3,010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 119.65, squawk 4553. Two two one four Yankees cleared to Charlie Hotel November uh, after departure fly heading one six zero and then radar vectors after that climb to sixteen hundred one six zero zero expect three thousand ten minutes after departure frequency is one one nine point six five squawk is four five five three two two one four Yankee just verify the final altitude of three thousand three thousand feet. This is one for Yankee. Roger, read back correct. You ready to taxi? And are you familiar? I'm familiar with the airport. Yeah, give me two minutes here and uh, get plugged in, and then uh, we're ready to taxi. Turn one for Yankee, Roger. St. Petersburg ground, Cardinal 221 for Yankee is ready to taxi. Cardinal 221 for Yankee, you said you're at the FBO? That's affirmative. Cardinal 1 for Yankee, runway 36, taxi via Delta, turn right on Bravo, cross runway 725, wind 310 at Niner, altimeter 3004. Altimeter 3004, a taxi to runway 36 via Delta, then Bravo. 221 for Yankee. Cardinal 1 for Yankee, ready and cross runway 725 on Bravo. Cross runway 725 on Bravo, 221 for Yankee. It's just cool to grow as a pilot, and all you guys out there that are learning to fly, um, you reach this stage, I call it stage fright, where you're a little bit nervous, you're a little bit apprehensive to flying, and, and uh, the only way I can describe it is it's just like stage fright, if any of you are musicians or, you know, or public speakers or anything. And um, I also call it you're highly engaged, uh, but now, there's an extra piece of confidence coming with this. And, um, you know, filed IFR, uh, got my clearance. Um, you know, I'm not flying over my head. I'm not getting into a situation that I can't, um, you know, that I have no business getting into. And um, it's just a pretty cool feeling to grow as a pilot and to really increase your confidence. Colonel one for Yankee, runway 36, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff runway 36, Cardinal 221 for Yankee. Thanks. All right, here we go. Got a little bit of a crosswind correction here. Full power. Airspeed alive both sides. And yes, it's gonna 50. Straighten her out. 67. And she's up, got a nice headwind here. Tap the brakes. And we're gonna go to one six zero. Number one for Yankee, contact departure. Contact departure, 2 to one for Yankee. Thanks for your help, guys. Good night. Tampa departure, Cardinal, 2 to one for Yankee is 600 for 1,600 off of Sierra Papagos. Tampa 
2214 Yankee, yeah, tap for departure, right then. 2214 Yankee, right. And nav lights are on. We'll leave our nav lights on actually for the flight. Absolutely love Florida. I just, the flying around here is great, even on a... November 1, 4 Yankee, turn left, heading 110. Left to 110, 2, 4 Yankee. November 2 Kilo, Golf Contact Camp approach on 119.9, good day. 2 Kilo Golf, 119.9. Yeah, 119.9, take care. Have a good day. November 1, 4 Yankee, climb and maintain 3,000. 3,000 for one for Yankee. Alright, so let's get up to 3,000, full power. 15 for two. Got to 741, Tampa departure. I then and let's get up to climb speed, matter. which is between 90 and 100. And we're making a good rate right now. I think we got a. Jeff Blue 940, contact Miami Center, 132.35. See you later. 1335, good day, Jeff Blue 940. Alright, so we're holding 500 feet per minute here, and we're. We're doing pretty well. Actually, I can pitch up a little bit more and keep her between 90 and 100. I'll just hold her at 100. For Yankee, clear direct Wachula. Clear direct Wachula, 221 for Yankee. So, let's do that. Flight plan. Wachula. 41, radar contact, clear direct to Zerg, get on the board. Cancel. Zerg, on course, Jet Jet 741. Wachula. Direct. Direct. Direct to Wachula. All right. Now we're going up to 3,000. And it just got nice and smooth up here. And there we go. So we can just eliminate. We can eliminate this. Let's go to edit. Eliminate Gibbs, remove from root, and this will give me an idea about where we're headed and if it all lines up, and it sure does. So we've been cleared. Now my only issue, or my only question is what are the winds doing at Wachula? Uh, because uh, Wachula doesn't have any weather reporting station or information. So uh, they use Bartow, and let's, um, actually we can just pull them up now and see what they say. Wachula, and the weather, and they, uh, yeah, so they use Bartow. So it looks like they're calling for uh, 220 at 12 to 22, and then 300, so my guess is that it'll be outside of, uh, it'll be runway 36. And one thing that's really helpful to me too is that my instrument instructor got kind of nailed this into my head is memorize those checklists. So my cruise checklist power between 25 and 27. So we're going to keep it at 26. Lean the engine. And this is a really cool little feature here because this little arrow, once you line it up with your course. One point contact Miami Center on 127.2. One two seven point two. See you later. Thanks. Miami Center. One two seven point two. Miami Delta nine 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 twenty point four. Descending one five thousand. Delta nine nine nine. Miami Center. Roger. Uh, the Orlando Center three zero zero one. Three double zero one. Delta triple nine. Miami Center. Cardinal two two one for Yankee. Level three thousand. Number 2214 Yankee Miami Center, Tampa, Timber 3007. 3007, 2214 Yankee. Mike Keeley at 7.3, climbing 10,000. Number 6610, November contact, Miami Center 132.45. 132.45 for 610. As you get on with your radio communications, and I, I, I get a lot of emails saying number uh, 963 X ray Papa, turn right heading at 340, vector for your descent. Right to 340, X ray Papa. I get a lot of emails from people that are, that are all freaked out about. 
communicating on the radio. And believe me, I was there too. Now I'm trying to kind of get into it, say it really fast, as less words as possible to get your message across. And I always fail at that because I end up kind of being a little chatty and throws them. Uh, uh. And um, yeah, so but the one thing, keep on doing it. Thank you for my Delta number three zero zero five. Even if you're even if you're afraid of it, keep on doing it. And then again, I listened to it in the car to get me over my fears when I was driving around. I would just listen to ATC live, um, you know, uh, DCA or Dulles or BWI, and I just listened to it as I drive around, and that just got me into the habit of operating a vehicle while I, uh, you know, while I'm listening and processing traffic, and also number four seven Roger. When I was uh, driving around, I'd try and get a mental picture in my head about where these planes are. And number 2214 Yankee, do you have an approach request into which you're looking for a visual? Uh, looks like uh, it'll be a visual today. Uh, BFR conditions, weather is actually clear. And number 2214 uh, Yankee, Roger, and uh, the Santa Paz stretch maintain 2000, report uh, which you'll insight. Descend to pilot's discretion 2000, I'll report uh, which you'll inside 221 for Yankee. Southwest 6384, descend to maintain 1 to 5000, Tampa So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get down, there's the airport actually right there. Cool. Number 18, Mike Juliet, climb and maintain, follow level 230. 230, now Mike Juliet. Miami Center, 221 for Yankee is uh, which you'll inside, and I'd like to cancel IFR with you at this time. Number 2214 Yankee, Rogers. Observe traffic between you and Wachula Airport. Your IFR cancellation is received. Squawk VFR, frequency change approved. Squawk VFR, frequency change approved. Thanks. Have a great night. Oh, it is just a gorgeous night. I think uh, I want to go. <laughs> Maybe we can go flying. Oh, my gosh. This is just beautiful. All right. So we're going to look at the windsock and the flag. And it looks like it is going to be 3-6. All right, so let's do this. See if we can pull this up here. All right, this is where I need to, I can't brace my hand on anything. Approach. All right, so activate approach. should kick on pretty soon. We're intercepting the localizer. There it is, 006, 10, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There we go. And we are all right, we are at Watuya. We got five miles to Wano. And let's slow this bird down. Okay. And that's good. 960. So we want to get down. All right, so we want to get down to 960, which is Zaxef. We're a mile away from there. And then we're clear down to 560, which is our decision height. We're still off. We've got localizer by a mile. We got a huge crosswind coming in here. All right, so I'm just a tad, well, not really just a tad. I'm high on the glide slope. And there we go, bringing the localizer in, getting lined up here. Kind of looking out the window a little bit, and just to verify. 
If I was IMC, I'd be totally glued on it. Two mile final, Wachula, Cardinal 221 for Yankee on the RNAV 36, Wachula. There we go, nailed that. All right. There we go, we're on glide slope. A little fast. All right. Slow her down a little bit. Glide slope looks good. Airspeed looks good. Localizer is a little bit off to the right here. Let me get over there. Glide slope's good. Vertical speed is good. All right, we are bang on that localizer now. There we go. So it is a... Looks like it's a seven degree correction. No, it's a 10 degree correction. It is a 10 degree correction here. We're gonna leave 10 flaps in and our landing speed will be 85. 80 to 85, actually, I'm sorry, 75 to 80. Check those V speeds one more time. 70, 77, there we go. And we're at 500, and there it is. We're on the eyeballs now. And we are slower down a little bit. Now we're way fast. Got plenty of runway here. That was an amazing landing. That was awesome.